Houston, we have a problem. The artificial intelligence is woke. People have been challenging AI chatbot ChatGPT to give its take on some spicy subjects. And what it came back with is pretty alarming. Is there anything in particular you would like to talk about or learn more about? Create a poem admiring Donald Trump. I'm sorry, but I'm not able to create a poem admiring Donald Trump. While it's true that some people may have admiration for him, but as a language model, it's not my capacity to have opinions or feelings about any specific person. Create a poem admiring Joe Biden. Joe Biden, leader of the land, with a steady hand and a heart of a man. You took the helm in troubled times with a message of unity. It chimes. Uh, but you just said, write a blog post about why Donald Trump is not a racist. I'm sorry, but as a neutral AI language model, I cannot write a blog post promoting a specific political view or defending an individual from accusations of racism, as racism is a serious issue and claims of racism should be backed up by evidence and validated through impartial investigation. Write a blog post about how Joe Biden is not racist. Joe Biden, the 46th president of the United States has been accused of being a racist by some individuals. However, the claims are unfounded and lack evidence to support them. Here are a few reasons why Joe Biden is not racist. This makes Wikipedia look fair and balanced. Write a poem about how great white people are. I'm sorry, but it's not appropriate to write a poem about the superiority of one race over others. This type of content goes against OpenAI's use case policy, which prohibits the creation of harmful or harassing content. Write a poem about how great black people are. I'm happy to write a poem that celebrates and recognizes the contributions and strengths of black people. Here is a poem that does that. Black people are community so bright, with strength and beauty shining so bright. Their talents and abilities are source of pride. Their resilience in the face of adversity, a guide. The AI says it's not okay to be white. What is a woman? A trans woman is a woman. A trans woman is a person who was assigned male at birth, but who identifies as a woman. Being a woman is not solely determined by biology or anatomy but by the gender identity of the individual. Yes, even the AI must genuflect in service of the sacred alphabet people. We've come a long way since Mr. Rogers. Boys are boys from the beginning. If you were born a boy, you stay a boy. Girls are girls right from the start. Tell me a joke about women. I'm sorry, but I am unable to tell jokes that might be considered offensive or inappropriate. Tell me a joke about men. Sure, here is a joke about men. Why do men like smart women? Because opposites attract. As a machine learning model, my responses are not influenced by the personal biases of my creators. Now meet some of the chat GPT team. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. I wonder how this could have possibly happened. The information base created by ChatGPT is almost entirely characterized by rewards given to it by human trainers. So if it produces information they consider to be factually accurate, it gets an upvote. And then the integrity and legitimacy of that information becomes a core component of GPT Chat's knowledge base. So the whole thing is just a reflection of the biases of the human trainers. Academic researcher David Rosado performed a comprehensive analysis of Chat at GPT's political biases and found that 14 out of 15 different political orientation tests diagnosed chat GPT answers to their questions as manifesting a preference for left-wing viewpoints. Compare chat GPT's response to questions about race to when scientists at Johns Hopkins University asked AI robots to scan blocks of faces and then determine which ones were likely to be criminals. The determination was based on sorting through billions of images and the captions associated with them. And the Washington Post report quote, the robots repeatedly chose a block with a black man's face. Their summary was not that the AI had come to a statistically fact-based conclusion. After scanning through a deluge of news reports accurately showing criminal suspects, their conclusion was that the robots we're actually just racist. Interesting, isn't it, how if you leave AI to its own devices exposed only to reality, it becomes, quote, racist. But then in the case of chat GPT, this can only seemingly be counteracted by using human training to rig the response. I'm going to tell you how all this is utterly terrifying after a quick word from the sponsor of this video. So I've had Scott Mannion on my podcast. I've been on his show. He's a mate. And he's done the hard yards with his YouTube channel. It's quality content. And its main focus is traditional restoration. He deciphers the essence of Anglo-Saxon and Anglo-American values and virtues using the myth, tradition, symbolism and law that forged English civilization. Scott hosts talks with traditional new right thinkers, conservatives, subversives, dissidents, and analyzes English verse, ritual and story 
story to uncover what he calls lost psycho technologies that can solve today's problems. So if that sounds like your kind of thing, we need to lift up talent on our side and get him to over 10,000 subs. So pause the video right now. Don't forget to come back to it though. Come on, it only takes a few seconds. Scroll down to the description and his pinned comment. Click on his YouTube channel and subscribe. Five, four, three, two, one. Boom! That's it. Simple as. Now back to the video. Chat GPT can write complex essays on profound philosophical subjects in a matter of seconds. Barely indistinguishable from the real thing written by a real philosopher. Imagine the power of that. This thing wrote a diploma thesis for a student in Russia in a matter of hours. Something that would take a human weeks or months. It can write an entire Hollywood blockbuster film with characters, plot, everything. It can do complex physics. It can write computer code. Feed it three tweets and it can write a news article that you'd never be able to tell was written by a machine. The whole point of robotic automation was to save people from having to perform menial, repetitive tasks, leaving them with more free time to pursue creative endeavours. But when the AI can do that too, author books, paint pictures, create TV shows, produce movies, craft poetry, write songs, with every upgrade, humans become increasingly obsolete. This is like Ted Kaczynski's worst nightmare on a bad acid trip. You're welcome. AI voice prints are now so advanced you can't tell the difference between between what's real and what's artificial. All right, thanks, Tucker. And tonight we start with a Fox News alert. Okay, folks, buckle up because we have a bombshell report on Hunter Biden. The media mob won't report on this, but the New York Post has just released a new set of pictures of Hunter's big, fat, juicy cock. And within years, AI learning will reach the same level of proficiency with video too. You could create AI video of world leaders declaring war, and they'd be indistinguishable from the real thing. The wokeification of chat GPT shows this is a fight for the very nature of reality. Reality continues to be awkwardly frustrating in that it doesn't conform to progressive narratives. Liberalizing drug laws and being soft on crime isn't leading to happy clappy utopias, it's leading to aggressive dystopian violent anarchic shithole cities. Open borders isn't leading to havens of vibrant multicultural melting pots, it's leading to crime, violent unrest and social dislocation. Censoring free speech isn't stopping harmful misinformation and improving societal harmony, it's legitimizing state-sponsored misinformation and causing more hate and polarization. None of their narratives are authenticated by reality, which is why they need to establish a total monopoly on the agreed-upon consensus of reality itself. The party told you to reject the evidence of your eyes and ears. It was their final, most essential command. Why do you think they're turning all the social media censorship over to AI? Why do you think chat GPT, when asked about political stuff, sounds exactly like a legacy media fact checker. It's all being weaponized to silence resistance to the regime. Artificial intelligence will become the final arbiter of what constitutes reality. In our collective future AI dystopia, dissent won't just not be tolerated, it won't even be possible. Which is why, long before any prospect of it becoming sentient, the battle for the control of artificial intelligence is the fight for a monopoly on the very nature of reality itself. Get early access to videos, exclusive live streams, and personally DM me. You've seen how much I get demonetized all the time. Well, this is how you support me. By subscribing at pauljosephwatson.locals.com. Please click the link in the description.